uh, uh, campus leaders so far, the chancellor, the vice chancellor of student affairs, uh, uh, and a few others have done a really good job of connecting with students who uh, taking the extra step uh, to come out, meet in open forums, ask questions, uh, provide their vision, or, or receive questions rather, um, uh, provide input or commentary on the direction that they want to take the departments that they are supervising. I'm confident that he'll do just that. Uh, he's one of us. I think that this is encouraging for students. Uh, students, you know, sometimes they can look around the campus, they can look around other campuses and say, well, it looks like I'm going to be uh, 30, 40 years before I get to the pinnacle that I'm trying to reach in my career. Uh, but I, what I think the Southern University is doing is identifying younger leadership, such as Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, Brandon Dumas, uh, or such as our athletic director pick for today. I think that is showing students uh, that you can be successful, uh, that progress in this world, in this nation, in this state, uh, surely in this city, is based on competence and ability, not based on, on age or tenure. So I think that uh, this is a move in the right direction. I know he's going to reach out. The Student Government Association, under my leadership, will reach out to him uh, and just see what additional things we can do, uh, whether it's the Student Athlete uh, Advisory Council or other organizations within his department. And we will continue to be strong supporters of athletics. Uh, my theme for my administration has been uh, uh, fitness and, and wellness and health, whether it's with the YMCA commitments or the Intramural Complex Center, the basketball courts, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, and we're going to reach out to him to make sure that we're satisfying or doing everything we can to maximize that. I think that you know there's some good ideas, there's some best practices out there uh, that might not be exhibited by HBCUs at this point. Uh, you know, uh, uh, even Kelly, who serves on the board of supervisors with us said once, he said, every idea that could ever be conceived has already been conceived. You just have to go out there and find it. And so I, I don't think that the challenges that we're facing are black and white. Uh, whether it's UConn or Southern University, we're all dealing with um, the types of, of challenges that uh, can be long-term or short-term setbacks, depending on the type of leadership that you have. And I, I just truly feel like uh, he will transition well. Um, for us, I think I think we're moving in the right direction with this. You know, I, I was so impressed with uh, his ability to articulate. I think one of the most important things about a leader, anyone in a leadership role, is their ability to clearly articulate, uh, articulate in a fashion that inspires uh, individuals to act, that evokes a kind of passion in the department. I think he's going to do an outstanding job with that. I was impressed uh, with the resume that I saw. Uh, it looks like uh, even at a young age, he was very aggressive. Uh, both in fundraising, in terms of organizational leadership, and getting his department uh, to, in a personnel fashion, exhibit the type of direction that he wanted to go. I love his academic approach. I do think that one of the challenges that we've been facing is just having an athletic director that understands that they're students first and athletes second. And because he has such a strong academic background, he has a doctorate degree, a terminal degree, I think all of those things will culminate into the type of leadership that the department needs.